You see, I got my gardening hat on. We are about to be in the garden today. And guys, it is Jason over here at Cock Hill Farm in the Cock Hill Farm family. Today, you see I got my gardening hat on. We are about to be in the garden today. It's been a while since we've been, I've done a garden video. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I have really neglected my garden. And um, we just had so much going on. It just got pushed back. And, you know, we've had some tomatoes. We've had some cucumbers. We had a lot of purple hull peas. We've had a lot of okra. Even though that I've neglected it, we've still gotten a good bit of stuff out of it. Today we're going to be in the garden. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to go harvest some um, peas. But just for seeds only. We've gotten all our peas that we're going to get out of it this year. And so I left some behind and let them dry out on the vine. That way you can harvest the seeds and have them for your crop next year. And I'm going to do the same with okra. So we're going to go harvest some seeds. Then we're going to go prep our big garden and getting it ready for the fall winter garden. How you like the new hat? A fan of the channel sent me this hat. This one is the real deal holy field right here. Thanks, Rick. I appreciate it. I just got my horse gathering bucket. We're fixing to go in the big garden, collect some seeds. And if y'all have never saved seeds before, certain things like peas, beans, okra, pumpkins, squash, those are ones that off the top of my head that are so easy to, to save. You just let them dry out on the vine, take them off, boom, save them. You can put them in a in a container, a jar. My granddaddy always, he always puts his in the freezer. There are several ways you can store them, but saving them is really, really easy. You can see they're just dried up. Look. So there's your whole mess of seeds right there. Right now I'm just gonna save the pods and come back and get them out. This is just more than enough for me. But I got them done and I'll just go put these in jars, put them in the freezer. Let's go get some okra. Typically what I do with the okra is, is I'll just save a couple of plants and get the seeds off of them. The seed pods, let them dry out. We may have some that's ready for, to be harvested for seeds. If not, then I'll just let them go. That's what you want right there. I do have one. It's not going to take many because there's a bunch of seeds in these seed pods. And, I, you know, you plant two or three rows of okra, you're going to have more okra than you know what to do with. I'm going to get Mrs. Cock Kill to come in here with a bush hog and whack all this stuff down so it can be manageable. Or I can get in here and uh, get a lot of it out. And then we'll get ready to start planting the fall garden. Penny. 
whatever happened to just pouring gas but now you know you gotta twist this push this lock this down here to snap rest this up against the uh the tank i just want to pour some gas man Boom, look at here. Got this sucker done. Got it good and ready. Yeah, I know, I know tilling isn't the best thing to do, but this is the only garden I have, really. I can't do any type of rotation. I can't, if I want winter crops, I gotta plant this sucker now. Just remember that, do the best you can with what you got and make it work best for you. I would love to have a no-till area and have, you know, four, maybe four big gardens where I could rotate crops and plant a cover crop on this one and go somewhere else and plant. I don't have it. This year I'm gonna plant a pumpkin. It's called a squash. It come from Row 7 Seed. That's Dan Barber's new seed company he's got started up. It's called Robin's Coconut Squash, which is right there. And I'm gonna definitely plant this in here this weekend. And I may do my Seminole pumpkins. We got some left over. But we're super fans of the Seminole pumpkin. If you've never grown a, uh, a edible, delicious squash pumpkin, or if you do grow delicious squash, this uh, winter squash or pumpkins, try the Seminole pumpkin. You will absolutely love it. It'll keep up to a year. Super delicious. Easy as the devil to grow. It's a small pumpkin. You know, we get them, cut them in half, roast them, puree them, freeze them, put them in the freezer or we'll let them sit out for a little while, whatever you want to do. Seeds are so easy to save, but we're going to plant this row seven squash as well. So stay tuned to, for that video. And also in that video, going to have another plow war, plow wars part two. Another company has sent me their plow and they want me to test it up against the hoss plow. So be sure to watch out for that video coming up this week. That's a lot of okra seeds. I got that one. I'm gonna plant a whole row. Um, what kind of okra is this? I'm not green it again. guys thanks for watching the video if you want to know more about gardening or what we do here on our farm check out this garden playlist right over here and if you're new to the channel like what you see hit the subscribe button down below y'all be good